Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series ComSol Multiphysics for Beginners. We are recreating this particular series in 2023 in order to serve more information so that it helps you developing your research problem. If you are working with ComSol and if you are new to this software, I'll recommend you watch the entire playlist because it is systematically being developed and if you do watch all the series then it will be more informative so today i will be talking about a topic which is feedback kind of control system how we can actually do it in comsol so this is not a typical feedback controller but some control over the boundary conditions we can create and that is the topic of today's discussion i also discussed it in few of my other videos but this particular video will be related to the understanding the basic thing so for this one we have taken similar copper material heat transfer in solid that you have been seeing since last two three lectures i'll be putting all the lectures in the description box so that it helps you i have taken temperature boundary condition one it is kept at 600 Kelvin for say at the left hand and the other walls are kept at say 293 Kelvin and we have taken another rectangular box why do we take why did he did I take it I will just tell you shortly but the logic is let me explain the physical problem to you so initially the left hand wall it is kept at 600 Kelvin now the other walls are kept at room temperature so what will happen if you start your simulation the heat will also start transferring from getting transferred from this left to the right so what will happen once the heat passes through this this uh, temperature of this region will increase now I want to I want to estimate that how much temperature is being increased at this particular area and that is why I have taken this area separately now how can you how can you actually estimate the temperature condition at this particular area for that what we can do we can take an area average of the temperature at different time steps so while the simulation continues we can actually do the area averaging and once we calculate the average then we can use that information to control the initial input so for that I need two things I need to define this area average and I have already mentioned it in few of my other videos so for that what you need to do you need to go to definition right click on the definition option you'll see one option non coupling so in this non coupling you have those options integration averaging maximum minimum for this case we will be going forward with the option average so we are taking average at this area so we have to select the domain you can see this option is being shown domain so once i will click it you can see this zone will be selected here so i'm clicking on it so this zone is named as zone 2 so this zone 2 has been selected so we'll be ca we'll be calculating what say we'll be calculating temperature average so say TAVG so I write it TAVG here in the level option and the operator is AVOP1 so this is the operator you should not change it even if you change it it will only change the name say I make it AVOP2 that can be done but uh, it is only changing the name but the operation will not change so if you hover here you can see it is showing root dot comp1 avop so what is comp1 this is the comp1 that is a component one so under component one we have geometry we have defined the domain so in that domain it is calculating your average so, uh, so the name is comp1 root1 okay now we have to we have just defined the name t average but we have not yet mentioned 
where exactly you are calculating I mean how exactly that information of t will come so this is just a renaming but it has to calculate average of what average of temperature which is changing over time so this is an unsteady problem so if you just visualize that every point on this area the temperature will be vary, varying with respect to time so at a particular time say t equal to 5 seconds in this area you have different points and on different points you have different temperatures so actually it is estimating all that it is taking all the temperature information and estimating the average then this information I'll put it back to the temperature one so initially let me calculate the T average so what I can do is in the definition I can write another variable option so in that variable say T a I write T a that is T average is equal to A V E O P 1 T so this T is coming from this dependent variable you can see so we have defined that T a is a variable which is nothing but average of T in this particular zone because A V E O P that defines this particular zone if you go here you can understand now what I do is I write a condition here so my condition was I have to see whether this average crossed a particular value or not so this is at 600 when temperature is flowing this initially the entire temperature say initial temperature initial value say I put it at say 300 Kelvin so at the corner it is 600 and at at initial all the points initially is kept at 300 and the other boundaries are kept at say this is also we keep at 300 so what will happen heat will start flowing from here to this zones and the temperature of this particular section will increase so we are estimating when it reaches say, 320 degrees celsius once this average reaches 320 it will seize the temperature to say a particular value so for that we need to define one if else condition so what we write if t average is greater than say 320 then the input should be or let us define in another way if it is less than 320 then keep the input condition as 600 otherwise drop it to 400 for say so this is my boundary condition so which I am defining okay T A V G is an unknown variable okay we have defined it by T A so yeah T A is defined if you see here TA we have defined then what I do is now I can run the simulation for say 10 seconds and I stored the data at every 0.5 second now let me try to run the simulation and let, let us see how exactly the feedback control works okay so you can see how nicely the temperature is being actually the heat is being transferred from the left zone to the right zone and the temperature at this particular section this rectangular section is also changing over time if you look at the profile at one second the distribution was like this as you progress the heat is being flown you can see so the temperature is also increase, increasing if you estimate the temperature say we can estimate what I can do is in the derived values I can go for a global evaluation or point evaluation 
say we go to for global evaluation and we estimate TA if we click on TA you can see with respect to time the average temperature at that section is being calculated we select this option so how we, how did I select it I just clicked on these two then shift control down arrow so it will be selected now you have to plot it so there is a plot option table graph if I click here you can see this is how the temperature of the rectangular section is changing you can see we have defined a condition when it reaches 320 and you can see the 320 is being reached at very less time say 0.1 second so we are working in wrong time zone so what I can do is I can change the condition the temperature no not 320 when it say reaches 400 then keep it for I mean less than 400 keep it 600 otherwise keep it 400 so now if I run the simulation again so we learned about global uh, non-local coupling option okay there is some problem with the boundary condition uh, so what I can do I can change this condition to 350 say uh, what was the temperature yeah okay it was 400 the other temperature was 600 okay 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 we have uh, defined in wrong place so this should be going there this would be kept at say 300 and this would be coming here say when the temperature is reaching say 350 average then keep okay this is fine now let us run the simulation again yeah it's running yeah this is done you can see the temperature the heat transfer is taking place now again go to the global evaluation I click on evaluate let me delete the previous data first then again I click on evaluate I choose all the data and plot it you can see the TA temperature is how much we have actually told in the condition we can in the condition we told 350 so you can see the temperature here in the plot yeah it reaches 350 at around 0.5 second so let us change the time scale then uh, we work up to one second and interval let us keep it 0 0.05 okay that's fine we run the simulation once again so we are actually playing around with the time scales and this is how you have to understand the physical time scale and then if we go to the plot the table graph if we plot it again uh, let me go to the data again let me change the data so evaluate the data then plot the data yeah so you can see 350 is being reached at around 0 0.2 second and then it is changing the boundary condition and that's why you can see up to this point there is a sharp rise in temperature but after that it has seized the boundary condition and that's why the temperature drops and actually it becomes flat so this is a kind of feedback control system you have I mean during the simulation you are calculating average of temperature at a particular zone and that information you are feeding back to the simulation so that it can control the boundary condition so today I stop here if you are liking our videos kindly subscribe to our channel because it will give us more motivation to upload videos.